amjambo. I am delighted to join you today at this historic moment as you depart to Haiti as the first Kenyan police contingent of the multinational security support mission. This is a significant milestone in our pursuit of sustainable peace and security, which are the foundations of freedom, democracy, and prosperity at home, in our region, and around the world, including in Haiti. As a nation, our commitment to fundamental values knows no borders, and we are called upon to extend the reach of peace as part of our moral, pan-African, multilateral, and humanitarian obligation as a people and as a nation. This mission is one of the most urgent, important, and historic in the history of global solidarity. It is a mission to affirm the universal values of community of nations and a mission to take a stand for humanity. The people of Haiti were the first to liberate their land from slavery and colonialism, but their freedom was short-lived as the opportunity to build a strong, free, just, and prosperous nation was undermined by forces intent on sabotaging their process and their progress. As a consequence, Haiti has faced continuous onslaughts by powerful external and internal forces, causing instability and bloodshed, taking thousands of lives, extinguishing countless dreams, and depriving millions of basic social services. This has subjected millions to harrowing poverty, hardship, disease, and disorder. I am confident that the interagency team has done its work in preparing this contingent and established the necessary mechanisms to support this mission, including documenting operational protocols to guide you. You are undertaking a vital mission that transcends borders and cultures. Your presence in Haiti will bring hope and relief to communities torn apart by violence and ravaged by disorder. Both the Transitional Presidential Council and the Prime Minister have shared their expectations that you will support the Haitian police, national police in restoring public safety and security. As you perform this role, you are expected to embody the highest standards of integrity and professionalism, always bearing in mind that you are representatives of the mission's lead country and our ambassadors of stability and security as a country. Your performance in this assignment must be a firm statement of Kenya's capability and contribution to global peace and security and a clear res response to doubters and naysayers about your competence, integrity, and professionalism, as well as our nation's credentials. I pledge the government of Kenya's commitment to provide you with an enabling and conducive environment to deliver much needed security services domestically, regionally, and internationally, including in this mission. I also reiterate my call to the international community to support the Haiti security mission. As indicated by your commanders, the next contingent of your colleagues will be joining you soon. Proceed with the assurance that your deployment will quickly reach the required optimal numbers for you to undertake this most critical, urgent, and necessary mission. As you focus on restoring public order, safety, and normalcy, pay particular attention to vulnerable groups, including the elderly, the disabled, children, 
and women who are disproportionately affected by violence. Do your best to protect them and create an environment where you can live normally once again in Haiti. Go forth and carry our flag in the spirit of Pan-African solidarity. As much as possible, build strong bonds of peace and stability with our Haitian brothers and sisters. It is my prayer that God gives you wisdom, patience, and strength as you carry out this historic mission. As you go to Haiti, remember that your families, the people of Kenya, the government of Kenya, and me as your president, we are all behind you. We will support you. <laughs> we will pray for you. And we will do everything possible for you to succeed in this mission. Because we are a nation that believes in the rule of law. We are a nation that believes in freedom. We are a nation that believes in democracy. And the people of Haiti have been denied democracy. They have been denied freedom. They have been denied the rule of law by lawlessness, gangs, and criminals. And that is why, as a nation, we took up, when requested by the international community, we took up the responsibility to lead this mission into Haiti. Many people ask why Kenya was chosen by the international community. I want to tell you that the international community has confidence in you, your capabilities, your integrity, your professionalism, and what you can do to resolve this human challenge. I want to ask you not to let their faith in you, their confidence in you, don't let them down. And I am equally confident that the international community has chosen Kenya to take up this responsibility because Kenya has what it takes. Kenya has the standing internationally recognized by the international community as a nation that is not only democratic, that has working institutions that respect the rule of law and that are professional. So I wish you well as you go. As I have said, you have our moral, our prayers, our financial, and every other support that we can put together. Ni mara ya kwanza, jeshi kubwa la police kiasi hii wanaenda katika mission ya United Nations. Kawaida vile IG amesema, wanga ni watu 20, watu 30, pengine 50, lakini safari hii tutakuwa na watu elfu moja watakawaenda katika kazi hii. Na hiyo heshima tumepata kama taifa ni kwa sababu tumepeleka heshima ya Kenya. Leo Kenya inatambulika duniani kote kwa sababu ya ile kazi tumefanya kuinua heshima ya taifa letu. Na ni jukumu letu sote kama wananchi, wafanyikazi, viongozi, kila mmoja wetu tujue ya kwamba Taifa la Kenya ni taifa letu sote. Na kila mmoja wetu unapopata nafasi, ufanye bidii kuweka heshima ya taifa lako. Hivyo ndivyo ninafanya katika kila mkutano mahali nimetembea bara la Afrika duniani kote. Leo Kenya inatambulika kwamba ni inchi ambayo ni inchi inaelewa inaelekea wapi, inatoka wapi 
na inaenda vipi na wauliza kwa heshima hata na nyinyi kwa sababu sasa mko na nafasi ya kuwa mabalozi wa taifa letu pia na nyinyi mkiwa katika safari hii mkiwa katika jukumu hii ya kuleta usalama kule Haiti pia na nyinyi muwe mabalozi wa taifa letu ionekane Kenya ni inchi iko na heshima Kenya ni inchi ambayo iko na usalama na walinda usalama wenye uh, professionals watu wenye wako na integrity na watu ambao wanatekeleza wajibu wao vile inavyopaswa kulingana na sheria please I ask of you. Musini angushe. Tafadhali. Kwa sababu vile mtakavyofanya ndio heshima itapatikana katika nchi yetu. Na waomba kabisa musi musi eh? Muta mutashikilia bendera yetu vizuri. Yes Kabisa. Yes <laughs> Kwa sababu um, unajua heshima ya taifa letu la Kenya nimeweka juu sana. Nyinyi sasa kazi yenu ni kusukuma kutoka hapo iende juu zaidi. Eh? <laughs> eh, tusaidiane ndio Kenya ipate heshima ndio tuweze kujenga taifa ambayo sote tutajivunia kama wananchi wa zalendo wa taifa letu la Kenya. Our heavenly Father in our midst, we have officers, men and women, from the Kenya police. You have chosen our country, Kenya, to lead the mission to Haiti. You know the cries of the people of Haiti about peace and stability and security in their country. You know the suffering they have gone through in the hands of criminals and gangs and people who have no regard for human life. Heavenly Father, as we commission these officers, these men and women, to go to support the people of Haiti, to work with the police in Haiti, to provide stability, to provide security, we know, Heavenly Father, you are the God of safety, of security, of peace. As these officers go to Haiti, you have told us in Matthew 5, 9, that blessed are the peacemakers. These men and women are going to make peace in Haiti. Heavenly Father, as they undertake this mission, bless them in every way. Give them health so that they can manage the many days in new lands. Give them strength. Give them knowledge. Give them understanding. Give them wisdom to undertake the responsibility in their hands. Heavenly Father, give them courage to face up to the challenge that is ahead of them. We pray over them. We pray over their safety, that as they secure the people of Haiti, Heavenly Father, you will secure them. That as they provide security for the people of Haiti, you will provide security for them. We commit these officers, patriotic men and women who have taken up this responsibility in solidarity with humanity to protect the people of Haiti. We command a blessing upon them and upon their families. As their families stay back, Heavenly Father, you shall look after their families shall look after their children, that they will not lack even as they are away, that they will be secure as they are away. Help us as a people, help us as a government to be able to do that which is right. 
Father, we commit the equipment they have that you will multiply their efficacy. We pray over their transport. We pray for the cars they will be using. We pray the food they will be eating. We pray for everything that they will use that you shall sanctify, make it good for their use, make the equipment good for their use as they secure the people of Haiti. Heavenly Father, we pray of our country, Kenya. We pray for the safety of Kenya. We pray for the peace of Kenya. We pray for the unity of Kenya. We pray, Heavenly Father, even as we do this for others, you will remember to do it for us. I pray for the commanders. I pray for the IG and his team, the minister and his team, and all the people who are in charge of our security as a country. Bless them. Give them peace. Father, we want to pray, thanking you that after they complete their mission, you shall bring them back home safe. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <laughs>